Aminu, Aminu Islam, he was my colleague. He was my colleague. To use this was is so difficult. He was one of my strong organizer. He was detained in 2010, and he was lucky that he was, he was able to escape from the National Security Intelligence who detained him. But I never thought that can be escalated to kill him just one year or more later. I never thought that they could be so cruel to him. And whenever his name come to me, you know, I don't want him to forget his name anyway. But whenever I remember him, one thing just give, you know, one, it's like kind of slap that somebody giving in my cheek that I couldn't save him. I always think that if I, if I even think about it, that the situation can be like this, I could tell him quit to quit, even I told that you wanted to quit. And he said, no, I need to work. And if I would even think that this can be happen, I could save him. And it is 2014 now, none of them has been prosecuted, though everyone knows who can be behind of it. And we are still looking for justice for him. If we cannot bring justice for Amir murder case, we don't know who is the next. That can be anyone. A minimal murder case or, a, you know, how they kill him, it is not a wake up call for anyone regarding this retaliation. It's an extreme call. That what this government, these factory owners, up to what end they can go. Whoever raised their voice to make changes, the minimum wages, or who wanted to make changes, and try, you know, the live workers' union rights, they have to face the same thing that our, our Aminul has faced. I'm sorry.